Hey, I'm Matt. And I'm Kim. And we're Matt and Kim. And you're watching the AU Review. Welcome back to South By. Hey, I can't even remember. Was Were we here last year? No, we were recording Lightning last year during South By, and we decided to stop looking at everyone's Twitter because everyone was talking about how awesome South By was. Oh, yeah, we were, we were sad we were missing all the fun. You were saying three years ago, you know, you were doing the thousand shows like everyone else. Now you've got your own tour bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember how many years ago would you say? Five years ago? When, we, when we'd come through and we'd play, typically bands will come through South by Southwest, play like, and what we were doing like 12 shows in four days, kind of. Yeah, I, I think I said three on stage, but I would probably say that's probably five years ago. And then every year we came back, we would do a little bit less. And we'd think, okay, we don't, you know, let's, let's keep it to this. I think the last time we were here, we did three shows, and now we cut it down to one. And yeah, so but and yeah, we're really bougieing it. While everyone else is on the porta potties, we have a bathroom in here. We can wash our hands. You know, that's that's real classy stuff. Real first world kind of stuff. Disappear mid set, have a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So, well, of course, there's been quite a few albums in between those those five or so years, and the last one came out in October. You've got fan art and sex positions. You know, to celebrate it. Um, how are you feeling? You know, f uh, I guess six months later, when uh, when you're you're now on the road in the festival season, you can play Bonnaroo and Ultra next week. You know, how's um, how's everyone feeling about the album? Well, th the album in the end was was we went in with the same goal we go in with all our albums which is just make an album we would want to hear, and that seems obvious I think to a lot of people. Oh yeah, don't always bands make the album they want to hear. But I know bands that totally just make the album they think other people want to hear, and that's not our case. So when we made it and then we left on tour like days, a matter of days after it was released, and we thought, oh, man, you know, I go out and see a band. I want to hear songs I know. These songs are so new. And just when we left and people were immediately singing and dancing along, we're like, yes, yes, it worked. Uh, and now it's been as you mentioned, six months or something like that since it came out. And we're just ending a tour we did with Passion Pit for the last month and playing five songs or so off of this. And uh, I don't know, they're just some of the funnest songs we've been playing. And, and I will say, like, again, like Matt was saying, you know, some people, you know, they make albums and, you know, they'll never listen to it after they make it. I listen to our album every day and we also play these songs every day so I feel like it's one of those things definitely lightning is is an album that I'm very excited about and I really just want everyone even if they only listen to it once I just want everyone to hear it it seems like if you've heard the album you've only seen half the story the live show is something completely different and it feels like it's much the same idea where you're doing the show that you'd want to see, you're playing the hip-hop tracks that you want to see live, you're, you're jumping in the crowd as you'd want to burn a jump in the crowd, is, is, is that a, a fair assessment? Well, I will get to that right after I address how the camera probably caught me looking into Kim's cleavage there. Did you just check I that? did, because Kim doesn't always have cleavage, it's, it's very, I will say it's, it's a special day <laughs> when Kim's cleavage shows up, so I feel like when she was talking I was... I like that. Yeah, you do? Okay, so... Nice. Um, <laughs> but as you mentioned, about the live show compared to the album and whatnot, and, and <laughs> Kelly, <Just flipping. laughs> this is uh, professional talks, all right? Uh, <laughs> the thing is, we grew up as a band playing live. We Before we ever ma made an album, we were touring, and we were playing shows and all of that. And um, I think a lot of what we do and even what our albums sound like was defined by these live shows and and yeah we we love dj sets we love anything where people want to go out and shake their ass <laughs> makes sense yeah. so that's why we have kim shaking a lot of ass out there yeah and checking out cleavage now i don't check out cleavage but you're checking out mine i'm still kind of she's still she's still caught up on this <laughs> 